Good morning friends, welcome back to the channel. Got a bit of a surprise this morning. I'm gonna do a bit of uh, saltwater fishing. The wind's blowing a gale. And I've got an unveiling. Check this out. And this is due to, thanks to Jay of Black Sheep Diaries. It's a little kayak and it actually fits in the Honda. Now it's only tiny, it's only 2.35 meters, which is eight foot, I think. So, it's not very big. I don't know how stable it's gonna be with my weight, but let's give it a whirl and see, see what happens. At least it should be a bit of comic so There relief. she is, the little craft. I should have bought some sh uh, shoes because I can, all these are oysters, they're razor sharp. First thing I'm going to do is check to see if the paddle floats, and it does, so that's cool. Ooh, this is going to be harder than I thought, I think. Oh, we're in. Ooh, gusts of wind really push it around. Very pleasant though. Thanks Ooh. Jay. I'm getting very shallow here. This is cool. As you can see this is going to develop a different set of muscles. This is different to paddling a surfboard, that's for sure. I can feel it in the back of my shoulders already. Now there's a fair bit of water splashing in from the paddle I've noticed. I didn't hadn't anticipated that, but it's all a learning curve. And Jay, can you answer me a question if you're watching this? Do you have the bungs in or out? Are they supposed to let the water out as you paddle? Or if I took the bungs out, would it sink? Because it didn't say this, this came with zero instructions, nothing. Very shallow this side, even though it's out of the wind. So I'm thinking of heading into those mangroves over there and seeing what that looks like. See how close I can get to this pelican before he takes off. There he goes. Woo! He's off. Well, I'm out of the mangroves. It's a little bit deeper here. There was nowhere to fish so far. It's completely, it's just solid weed. There's no sandy bottom. Having a little bit of a fish here. It's on the edge of the weed beds, I think. Yeah, that wind's making it really hard. Wow, a couple of cormorants or shags or whatever they're called. Checking me out. Oh, they're all gone. Okay, the first attempt at getting out of this thing. Yep, we're out. Cool. That was a waste of time. Too much weed. That wind is really strong now and it's I'm even cold. So this time of year is ridiculous but so the plan is I might um, go onto the lee shore over there and have a bit of paddle a bit more really paddle. feel the force of the current here the tide's starting to run out but the uh, wind is coming from behind me so there's two opposing forces so it's relatively easy to paddle except when the wind catches the side it's time to head back there's nowhere around here that looks like it's going to be any good for fishing. It's all, it's all weed on the bottom. I'm actually paddling underneath these jetties just to try and stay in close out of the wind as much as possible. This is hard going. I think I, I blew it coming this far down with the wind. And there's the Honda, I can see it. That was a hard slog of it back against that wind but um good workout and there he goes well you can see how much the tide has gone out in the last couple of hours three hours i don't know how long it's been yeah that was fun didn't tip it over just got to manage to get it back on the rocks without um back in the car without cutting my feet on these on these oysters hey let's get this baby up and packed away it's I think it's 17 kilos this, so it's it's fairly lightweight. It's not that heavy. An old bed sheet to protect the car. Yeah. 
and it's in that water looks really calm now but uh, yeah that was fun maybe next time we can take it somewhere where they'll actually catch a feed of fish thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you want to don't forget to do something every day and we'll catch you on the next one well i'm here up at the creek friends doing a little bit of fishing after that surfing session and we looks like we've got ourselves a customer this is a flathead didn't have the camera on my head so i'm trying to but that that's Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think it's that big. Like 39 maybe. I've got a decent lead on him. I can show you from there. Here he is. Whoa. Here he is. How big is that? Dinner. Dinner? Cool. We have, we have lift off. We've got T. 400, just over 400. Yeah, nice. And here, friends, is the result of today's fishing. Served up on a plate, lightly grilled, a bit of lemon juice, and a garden salad. And these two guys here are sitting in, waiting in attendance, hoping that they're going to get a bit. They might get a little piece of fish, but um, I'm pretty hungry, and it's looking really good.